Fioric. Fiora would be the guaranteed lane against Yorick. It feels like that's going to take the top side here, but Neon and Cuz are lying in wait. This is Ooh. 2v3. Okay. Three on two here in the favor of King Zone. Body slam onto Tal, but he's got a shield. Now they turn onto Bono, who has to flash away. And uh oh, Tal, did you go a little bit too far after burning your ult, or rather your flash? There it is. First blood given over to Neon in the mid lane. Our life have been pretty. Consistent with looking for late and, and then late. lose. And you're like, what the hell is, is this team dumb? Like, this team's not winning anywhere. <laughs> what that tells you is that this champion scrims is bot lane. Wow, flash fear. They want to get onto Sung Yoon. That last twin fang plus the poison is going to be more than enough. Deft basically on zero mana, but they make it work. They double flash fangs down for a few more seconds, and that is a very mana hungry champion. One of the few you could actually consider. The Essence Reaver on is mid lane. Okay, even the ult blow for that one. They're going to force a uh, flash away from that one. But in goes uh -oh. Mono. He's got the red buff. He's going crazy. In he goes. They hand the kill over to Temp. But OK, Nahan wants to get another kill as the long range tornado comes in. And he dodges the hook, it looks like. Yes, as he dodges. King Zone as a team are so willing to bring him in. I'm going to hold the point, though, as Deft is going to get chained down into the death sentence. And he will be sentenced to death for sure as Tempt another kill on the board as both mid laners now are 2-0. Two, two and zero. He kind of want to. I feel like the Silas's have a lot of work to do in order to get to that level. It just reminds me of Worlds where I was trying to tell all Coming the up the river here as they're looking to punish in the top side. Can they get there in time? Shelly's going to get in the way as a Q given over to that Yasuo. Will they find an engage? There it is. Knock up onto the Urgot. Not the target you wanted. Trying to turn back on there. But Tucson very low on the fiddle. But no Urgot is going to be stunned as Death going well. in. Trying to do that damage, the ticking damage. Oh, he stop watches at one health. He still goes down, though. A double kill now to the Cassiopeia, who is beginning to pop off here. The pit, it was going to interrupt the movements of King Zone. Still doesn't matter, though, until now. TP from Tal. Yeah, trying to get behind them as, uh-oh, Tucson in a lot of trouble. Can they get the, the kill onto Nahum? That's the big important one. Tucson Shut doesn't down. go down, but they will be able to take Nahum finally. As 450 gold will go into the pockets attempt, who gets even more fed at smooth four. moves for not much benefit. Trades, turrets should be traded, but uh -oh. this is an inner, and now how will life are coming? And that's how they get greed for that one, but they're looking to turn it around actually, as Key is getting super low. The poison ticks down, and they do take him out. That's playing Glaze as well onto Tall. And so they cannot follow up for the kill, so Fear keys. will mess up his combos at best and maybe even lead to his death at worst. So had to go for the safety first here. It does lower the mid-game. Three control wards, so Kings don't have to be respectful on the entrance. Neon will not be there until maybe a cast can open up some gap close. Straight down to 2,000. I'm alive, have to be careful with this. Here's Tal. Attempt always threatening in the front line. One Q to the face of death. Gonna take away 20% of his health and well, okay. Gonna take that lantern to safety. Vision to make that possible. They're trying as Cuz Tucson. Okay, we're going to be all inning on Tabano, who does not have his ultimate. There it is. It takes three members to finally take out Bono. Will they stretch for key? The answer is no. But this in Sandbox game one against Juno was similar and say, how do you move forward the game state? The only easy way is a Drake, but it's a cloud into a test. Rascal still tanky, remember? Tucson went back. He doesn't have flash, he doesn't have ult. It's going to be out of the fight for quite a while, so this will be 5v4. Can the steal come in? Flash in, though, from Deft. He is able to get that big ultimate down, but he is super low. Can they actually take him out? There it is. Olaf gets the first kill of the fight, and now Nahon not in the best position. Is he able to get a double kill with the burst damage, but is able to make the best of a, a bad situation, but here comes Tempt on the chase. He's relatively tanky. All right, Cuz, we're looking for the Cask of Destiny. Gets a knock up on a key. There's the Cask, okay? Everything in on a key, and he just disappears. So they get the Thresh. They get the support, but they get anyone is pretty good for the side. Off with ultimate. That was really well approached. I think a lot of teams around the world could take inspiration from that. Now we have a gank rush, a silver ult. Let's go. Okay. Face to the paint. We're going on in. They're going to find a Silas. Can they burn him down? No, the Zonyas will come in. They get the knock up on a tall.
but no way is Nahyung going to go in alone on that last breath. This time around, the pick is a bit more effective as they take Well, they don't have the cask this time around. They're going to have to rely on a body slam with the flash. At least Hamalife going to respect this for now. Cuz does get that knockup, spamming the R onto Bono. Nahyung doing incredible damage onto the Olaf. Smite's Gets the dead. one, but the Smite is dead. Can Nahyung do it alone? His ZA is going to be popped on the backside. Death all alone going 1v3. Has Temp coming in too. Is he able to take out the Urga, but the Lasuo goes down, and so does the Cassiopeia. Low members on the side of Hanwha Live, but they are able to stop the Baron and get it down and win the fight. Everyone was accounted King's for. Zone. King's Zone. Uh, in this case, yeah, yeah it is King's Zone, actually. Yeah, yeah King's Zone. Yeah, the right. correct. The rest of King's Zone. Well, remember what we talked about with King's Zone's Sucky Siege? It's not great wave clear either. They're going to have to hard engage at some point. Here it comes. Okay, trying to get on top of Tal here, but there is the knockup. They get it onto the thrust, trying to get Song in the back line. Watch Nahyun versus Song Yu. Can he get the kill? He will, finally, in the end, but he is going to go down. But now it's up to Temp. He's got to try to carry this one, but Temp is so healthy. They get the kill onto that one, but here comes Rascal. Going to get the knockup on Abano, trying to turn this one around. Death low on mana, but uses it very effectively, and actually King Zone will be able to win the fight. Temp was Would really be pretty nice. Either way, we have the Elder and the Baron spawning at essentially the same time. All trying to make a fight happen. They're looking to get on top of depth. There's that first damage, but the follow-up, they want to get onto the back line, but Song Yun is just autoing over and over again, doing that damage. Finally, the GA will go down onto Nehan, and he's going to go down as there is no follow-up from him. Tucson goes down as in goes the LeBlanc. Temp able to make that play with this flash, and there it was. The Always pays off at 40 minutes. Mid lane inhibitor goes down. Are they going to look for more? The wave player on King Zone is minimal at best. They're even looking for assassinations here as Tempt is going to be chained down, and they are going to go all in onto this Cassiopeia. No can do. Down she will go. Rascal, though, is going to get the fear beyond death himself. Gets a fear on Atal, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to do much. Cuz with a nice cask here. But there it is, the Fear Beyond Death and finish off from Hanwha Life as they will take the 2-0 victory over King Zone tonight. We sat there and said it will be a close series and 2-0 doesn't read that way, but Hanwha Life were the favorites of basically everyone I talked to because they dispatched a King Zone team or King Zone-like performance from Gen G earlier this week. So a 2-0 week from Hanwha Life Esports, a 4-0 week overall in terms of game score. We're